Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, my name is Joe Cunningham, represent South Carolina's uh, first district, which is a coastal area from Charleston all the way down to uh, Hilton Head. Uh, it, it's fair to say that uh, seismic air gun blasting is extremely disruptive and loud, correct? I didn't hear the last point. It's fair to say that seismic air gun <laughs> blasting is extremely loud and disruptive, is that correct? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know exactly how loud it is. I, I've never actually directly experienced it myself. And, and when you say disruptive, I, I, I can't answer that question unless you uh, elaborate on what you mean by disruptive to what. Okay, well, let's say, do you think a, the sound of a washing machine is loud or disruptive? Not particularly. Okay. What about, say, like an air horn? You're getting there. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd ask for unanimous consent to sound an air horn in committee. Uh, is there objection to the gentleman's demonstration? Without objection, the gentleman. Mr. Chairman, I would assume that it will annoy us, but it won't kill us. Hearing no objection, the gentleman may, may demonstrate. Thank you. I, I'd like to give anyone an opportunity to leave if uh, they would find it bothersome. Again, uh, Mr. Chairman, I suspect that that uh, opportunity also exists for every whale and other little critter in the ocean. I don't think they receive advanced notice uh, of the uh, seismic testing in, in, in cetacean no, language. That's but not uh, correct. You told us that they get to 10 seconds uh, interval between every blast. I think there'd be plenty of time to go to the, the next gentleman so, or so the gentleman may proceed. Thank you. Thank section you. of the ocean. Was that disruptive, uh, Mr. Oliver? So it was irritating, but I don't. I didn't find it particularly disruptive. Okay. What about every say ten seconds, uh, like seismic air gun blasting uh, goes on for for days, weeks, months. If I were that close to it, mm -hmm. yeah, probably. Yeah. What if you depended on uh, sound for hunting your food and for communication? Do you think it'd be disruptive? At a distance of twenty feet, yes, it would be. How much louder do you think seismic air gun blasting sounds than this air horn you just heard? I honestly don't know. Take a guess. Ten times? At a distance of how far? Well, say, say, say you're within a reasonable distance. Say you're within a quarter of a mile. Is it ten times? Twenty-five times? Honestly don't know. I mean, can you take a guess? No. A hundred times? You think it's a thousand times, times louder? I doubt it. Doubt it. What if I were to tell you it's 16,000 times louder than what you just heard here? Can you see how that would be impactful on marine species and mammals? I do, which is why we put mitigation measures in mm -hmm. to minimize the proximity of that activity with the whales in question. You think you can cure all of the effects that come from seismic air gun blasting to these species that it's impacting? I don't know what effects are that we're curing, sorry. Yeah. Well, such as uh, the killing of our species. I guess, Mr. Chairman, if that was a question, I'll repeat what I said earlier. There's absolutely no evidence that these sounds and activities have ever killed or seriously injured a marine mammal or a right whale. You would, um, and you've heard earlier testimony, how various states along the eastern seaboard, including South Carolina, um, are adamantly opposed to offshore dr drilling, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, how do you feel about imposing... Uh, seismic air gun blasting, which is impactful to marine species, uh, in search for oil and gas in which the residents and citizens of South Carolina do not even want. Congressman, our, our role under the MMPA is to either authorize the activity or not um, based on a number of findings that do not include a popular vote. Do you, do you think South Carolina has a right to determine what happens off its shorelines? I certainly within a, within certain distances that perhaps envelop state waters. Mm -hmm. 
But outside of state waters, you don't think they have any decision whatsoever as to what happens off their shorelines and what could ultimately wash upon our beaches? I don't write the laws that dictate where states' rights, where states' authorities versus federal authorities lie. And I'm not asking for your legal interpretation. I'm just asking your personal opinion about this. I don't have an opinion on that. You don't have an opinion? No, sir. Okay. Would you like to know or have an opinion about what happens within your neighborhood or your state? I think we're going to end with that rhetorical question. Uh, the gentleman's time has expired. Uh, Appreciate your time.